Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. And today I'm going to do a very special show about Color Me Beautiful. Now a lot of you may already know what Color Me Beautiful is. And yes, it's still around. They've changed things over the last, I'd say the last decade or so. They've actually added uh, divisions within the seasons. But Color Me Beautiful is a system. It's a color system. And in and what it is is basically um, how to tell whether you're warm tone or cool tone and then break that down again into four seasons of color palettes that are really good to wear. If you have a certain hair color, eye color, uh, skin tone, you will look better in certain color palettes. Now they've got it broken down to four and everybody thinks how can anybody, you know, there's so many different types of people in the world, how can you possibly just say there's only four palettes? Well there's a ton of colors in here. I mean it's not completely void of interesting colors and varieties. So you're not really going to be um, unhappy with what happens with, with, your, with your season. You're actually going to feel quite liberated because you're going to know that everything you buy makeup and hair um, and jewelry and handbags and clothes and scarves and shoes and accessories everything is gonna harmonize it's gonna all look like it works together well you're gonna look much more put together your eyes are gonna sparkle you're gonna look healthier um, I don't want to say more youthful I'll just say you're gonna look more healthy and glowing and the colors will work with your coloring and you have probably a lot of things in your closet from a lot of different seasons, as they say. So I'm going to show you a little video right now about um, what Color Me Beautiful is and a little bit of history. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how I use uh, the concept of Color Me Beautiful in makeup and hair and fashion. So be right back with you. Every season, Mother Nature paints the earth in a different palette of colors. In a way, the four seasons are nature's greatest color harmony lesson. Our modern day color analysis begins with this lady. Her name is Susan Cagle, and she'd originally studied color theory and then used that for her work as an interior decorator and a dress designer. She often made personal palettes for her rich Hollywood wife and actress clients. Susan was an assistant to Edith Head, who is probably one of the greatest costume and gown designers that Hollywood has ever seen. She divided colors into warm and cool tones, and then again divided them into seasonal colors. She had a television show in the 1950s called Life with Suzanne. She used it as a showcase for her color theory, as well as self-improvement tips for women of the day. She had written a book called Color, The Essence of You, in which she describes various types of women. The Auburn Autumn. The Dashing Pewter Autumn. The Zestful Autumn. The Magnetic Autumn. The Dynamic Prismatic Winter. Patrician Winter Vivacious. and the Patrician Winter Silver Serene, the Tulip Vivacious Spring, the Vital Spring Enthusiastic, and the Talisman Rose Spring Enchanting, the Summer Orchid Feminine, and the Intuitive Violet Summer. Her theories caught on in that very same year, 1980, that she released the book, Carol Jackson released a book called Color Me Beautiful. This book was loosely based on Susan's original color seasonal theories, but it was awfully colorful, easy to read, and became a New York Times bestseller. A new generation of color analysts were trained, and classes began all over the country. People were draped in colors and found out what their true season was and what their palette of colors would be that they could shop with. At the end of their class, they were given a wallet that included all these little swatches of colors that they could take with them shopping. So what's all the fuss about? Let's explain some of the seasons. 
Spring has bright, radiant colors with no darkness or shadows. The yellow of sunshine graces the fresh flowers in bloom. The spring woman has golden highlights and a creamy ivory, peach, or golden brown complexion. She has blonde or light brown hair with golden highlights. Summer colors are muted with blue undertones, late summer blossoms, a frothy ocean, white beaches, sea foam green, and powder pinks and blues. The summer woman has brown or ash blonde hair and has pink undertones to her skin color. Autumn's colors are earthy and rich and they're golden hued just like the autumn leaves that fall. There's pumpkin and rust and lots of golden colors and even teal. Now the autumn woman will have red or auburn hair and a freckled complexion either light or coppery colored. Winter colors are clear and icy. Pine colored trees Stark white snow with pops of bright berries or colorful poinsettias. The winter woman has black or dark brown hair with very milky white skin or olive skin or gray beige skin and some have black skin with a blue undertone. Armed with all this new information, women began to see incredible transformations in how they looked. You can see if you're wearing the wrong color and if you're wearing the right color how different it can make you look to the world. It's a small change but it's huge. Everybody it seemed was an expert on the color charts and armed with their own particular season they could go out shopping and they could save money and they could drive the retailers crazy. Now of course fashion has always been guided by seasonal colors but when you had your own palette you ignored these kinds of things and you started to take notice of some of the celebrities wearing colors that were not proper for their particular season. It was very empowering and life-changing. Well new Color Me Beautiful books came out especially for the guys we couldn't forget that men needed their colors done too. We needed to know what seasons our husbands were. And women of color had very interesting uh, multiracial issues. They weren't just autumns and winters and so a special book was written for women of color. And of course old ladies needed something too. All of us who were over 40 needed something and then they started to branch off. A lot of the original color analysts branched off and started their own separate principles. Fashion designers jumped on board, therapists jumped on board, and some people jumped on board and recreated the entire system so that it would work, of course, with their color swatch patterns. Color Me Beautiful itself reinvented itself and got more into the fashion end of it and it was very popular over in the UK and in other countries. Makeup was introduced in 1999 and they still have makeup available on their website. The website which is colormebeautiful.com and of course there are several makeup books to go along with that and the Color Me Beautiful original books have been rewritten and updated to include additional divisions of the four seasons to include all those subtle differences within the season. There are now 12 divisions rather than just four. So all of us who are still getting draped to this day <laughs> owe all of this empowerment and all of this wonderful color to this wonderful woman Susan K. Jill. So there it is. You feel educated? <laughs> so now I want to show you how I do Color Me Beautiful in my personal life. 
And the first thing you're going to need is kind of a light colored room. Um, this is not a good example here, but like a bathroom that's white or some kind of room that's got very light color on the walls. You're going to want to wear a gray t-shirt, a very uh, muted gray. This is a neutral color, so uh, it looks good on everybody. And also, if you have a second one, you can put it over your head. Don't wear any makeup to do this. And then you're going to want to have a piece of white paper. And then you just put your hand up against that paper. Now if you're seeing kind of a yellowy sort of tone, a yellowy green sort of tone next to the paper, that usually means that you're a warm toned person. Your skin tone is on the warm side. Now if you put your hand on here and you see kind of a pinky sort of look to the skin, that means you're a cool tone person. One of the other ways, of course, is to um, check the veins on the inside of your arm. Are they green? Are they blue? The majority of them, are they green? That means you are a warm tone person. Now that's something that's kind of the basic for knowing how to start with this. Um, and as, as I said in the video, uh, there are certain attributes to each season. And I want to show you how I found out what my season was. Now what they do is they will drape you like this and then they'll you know just kind of look at you from all angles is it bringing out the lines under your eyes the shadows under your face is it really doing anything for you are you looking at this rather than my face does everything seem to harmonize and then they put this now do you look at me as a whole harmony unit or do you just look at this or do you are you looking at my face more are my eyes bluer do does my skin look healthier this is how you decide whether or not you are warm or cool so now there's other colors you can use that will help determine this, and this is another one. Cool tone people can wear white, pure white. A lot of times when I've worn white in the past, people will come up to me and they'll say, uh, you feeling okay? You look really tired. So my color, actually, is ivory. And when I wear ivory, which is, you know, basically a warm toned white, it's kind of the same idea. I can mix and match it with fashion and all that, but yet it's better for me. You don't see as many lines. My face looks healthy. I look more like one unit. Let's try with the green. Now this is a very dark color and this can help determine whether or not I am a fall or a spring, because they're both warm seasons. Now again, you're looking more at my face and at the whole picture, rather than just the blob of color with my head sticking up out of it. And I think this meshes a little bit more with my face than this does. And also you can see more lines, indentations, tiredness around my eyes. So I'm just showing you kind of some things you can do for yourself. And it's good to pick different colors out um, of different seasons so you can see what's going on. Now look at the black. Now everybody has a little black dress and it's like what do you do if you've got a black dress and obviously you can't really wear black. you put a scarf on and that will help a lot. A scarf in your own color tones. So you can still keep that black outfit that you love so much because it fits you really well, but since the color's not really doing anything for your face, you can do something like this. And then you've got your colors near your face and it kind of saves the day. Now instead of black, I can wear variants of gray. I can wear a dark gray, I can wear a dark navy, I can wear purple. 
So I can get kind of, you know, a nicer, again, more balanced, harmonious look than you look at my face balanced with the rest of my clothes. You're not getting this starkness. And it's also not accentuating lines and wrinkles and tiredness under my eyes. Now this one's very telling because pink is a color that a lot of people love and I love. Now this is a blue pink. This is a hot blue pink. Again, it's not really doing anything for me. You see the color and you say, oh, what a beautiful color. But my skin looks a little paler and I don't really look as good as I do with this one. Now this is the spring pink and it's a coral salmon color. And this balances out my look a lot better. So on a person, personal level, as being a spring person, these are the colors that help make me look my best. Now you get a palette, you can order this from their website and it's the only thing I'd recommend you order from them because their makeup isn't that great. Um, so you get this thing and it's got a whole bunch of different colors on there and you take them shopping with you and you can actually look and see you know if you're wearing the right color or not so you can see that this this pink I'm wearing is one of my colors so you just hold it up to different clothes and it'll help you a lot with your fashion now also when you're shopping a lot of times you've got a pattern. What do you do with a pattern? <laughs> well, you look at the pattern from a distance and you say, okay, what color am I seeing? I'm seeing a nice dark periwinkle. I'm seeing the gold. I'm seeing the light turquoise. There is black in here too, but that's not the dominant color. And I'm holding it up and it doesn't look bad. And you can try holding up your your cards to it, see if they work, see if there's a, a match in here, and there should be. So there's there's the navy, and we've got the, the turquoises in there too, and we've also got that gold. So it's very easy, it seems like it would be very limiting, but it's actually liberating because you can now spend money on clothes that will go with other clothes in your wardrobe and it'll save you a lot in the long run. Now some of them are harder than others. You can look to see if you're getting, you know, this one. And this one might be a little bit, it's a little dark. This might be more of a summer uh, shade of turquoise. It's not really in my palette. So the overall shade on this is just a little bit too dark for me, and this is probably a summer person clothes, clothing item. This beautiful periwinkle. Of course you'll find the periwinkles are easier. The solid colors are very easy because you literally can just put your, your tag right up to it and it should be in the same family. But what's really hard is when you have a pattern and that's when you have to start looking. It's like, what's, what's the dominant color here? It's a muted blue. This is a summer color. It may or may not work for me. It's, it's a personal choice, but usually something's pretty obvious. Now, colors like this are obvious spring colors. You'll find them right away in your palette. They look great on you. This is probably one of the best colors you can wear as a spring person beautiful salmons and pinks. This one has white polka dots, but this color is one that's in my palette. So I can wear this without a problem. So again, look at the dominant color. Now what do you get with something like this? I love leopard. Now this is a little dark. This is pretty much more of an autumn shade. The brown um, is just a little bit darker than what, and the black a little bit darker than what I can handle. So what I can do, I can wear underneath it, I can wear a nice ivory blouse, and that keeps it on the side, 
I have my ivory near my skin, so that's good. But then I've got the leopard, which I love, away from my face. So I've still got it a way to wear some of those colors that are kind of borderline for, for a spring. Again, with pattern like this, for instance, this has white in it, which I can't wear, and has black in it, which I can't wear. But this is not what you see. When you see this shirt, you see the melon color, you see the red, you see the gold and yellow. So this actually is very flattering on. So I see those colors in it, even though there is black and white. So you can have some things in your wardrobe that are outside of your uh, color wardrobe, so to speak. Now you can also carry this on to, to your handbags. You can, you can, I mean, there's, you can have a variety of handbags. And also too with jewelry. So I love wearing necklaces like this. But that's not in any of my colors. So I can wear something similar in a different color. So I get the same idea, I just get it in a different color. <clears throat> and then, here we have gold, which I can wear, but white is kind of the dominant color here. So I could wear instead, I could wear ivory pearls, or I could wear something <clears throat> in an ecru or ivory. It'll look just as good. Everybody loves bangles. But these will look better on me. And you can wear bracelets in your colors as well. It's really not boring or stark or anything. You can, you can just find a plethora of things to wear. Now earrings, the same thing. There's ivory here, there's my melon, there's gold. You can wear those and red and pretty turquoise and then the little yellow diamond hearts some pale green <clears throat> really nice brown ivory and of course you can wear gold so there's really a great variety, especially to um, jewelry that you can wear. Now what about hair color? This is my color, of course I color my hair, and when you are coloring your hair or wearing a wig or buying a wig, consider buying something that has a golden tone to it if you are a warm tone person. If you are a cool tone person, you're going to want to go with ashier colors or colors that do not have golden uh, undertones to them. Now I've worn this many times in the past because I thought ash would be good but actually when I wear it I don't look as sprightly <laughs> as I do when I wear something this color. So, um, so it's something to consider with hair color as well. Now the big, the big one, well actually eyeglasses too, believe it or not. Eyeglasses in tortoise, browns, um, yellows, golds, you can wear them right up to, this would probably be the darkest color you could really go to. Um, now there is makeup from Color Me Beautiful and I did buy a few things. I bought the nail polish uh, which was nice. I bought a lip liner which is very nice. This is in cantaloupe. It's one of the spring colors for eyeliner and I bought the um, automatic navy uh, eyeliner which is which is very pleasant it goes on nice very generic nothing special extremely overpriced for what you get so what they do offer is they will offer to give you your season of colors in a palette like this plus one lipstick and I think it's forty dollars something like that so I would recommend just doing this because you can apply the concept of makeup with Color Me Beautiful to any line of makeup, including Radiant Lady. <laughs> but let me just show you a little bit about makeup and I'm sure it's something that will come to you after you've looked at your palette for a while. 
You'll be able to see the colors that you can wear. You'll be able to see the, the tones and what's flattering on you. Now, makeup is a little more forgiving than other types of things. It's warm or it's cool or it's neutral. And neutrals are colors that anybody can wear. Um, cool colors are things that have a blue tone to them. Now this kind of magnetic it's called is a purpley blue toned uh, pinkish color. Pale pink, this is purpley. This opal is very purpley blue. These are cool tone colors and even though they'll look kind of pretty on me, my face won't look like a whole unit of harmony. It won't really do anything for me. Uh, it'll be well applied and it'll be, you know, it'll match what's with it, but if it doesn't do anything for you, why bother? And this is where this whole process can really save you money. Um, why not buy eye colors that work for you? Like I can wear the light blue, I can wear the Peter Pan green, I can wear the ivory in here. I can wear the yellow in here. I can wear this pretty moss green, which is a warm. I can wear that right in here. And for eyeliners, <clears throat> I can wear some pretty bronzy browns. A liquid liner, this is a pretty bronzy brown. I can wear these, uh, the nude colors and ivories. Nice mossy green. And a nice golden brown. So colors that are not good for warm toned people, but are really good for cool toned people, are colors like white and silver. and blue tone purples and black. Now everybody says, oh well everybody can wear black, but no. Warm tone people don't really look very good in black and it's not a good color for them at all. Uh, same thing with eyeshadows. I mean, I'm a big fan. They're very quality eyeshadows. They look really good. But not one of these colors is going to be very effective on me. It's not going to work very well on me because I'm a warm toned person. After a while it's easy to tell the warm tones from the cool tones and you can see these are mostly all warm tones except for this black and this gray is it's passable it's a blue gray but you could probably pass that's what they call a neutral so the original Lorac Pro there's a lot of warm tone shades in it. You can wear most of them, again, except for the black and the dark purple. Um, most all of these shades, and I think the pink you can't wear either, but mostly all of these shades you can wear. And a lot of them are neutral, so people that are cool tone or warm tone can all wear it. Nail polishes are another area where you can wear certain colors, but not others. Now, warm tone people can wear um, bright reds and oranges and golds and even if you want to go there you can wear the greens and all that but purples and blacks and blue blue pinks those are for cool tone people with lipsticks and lip liners these dark mauvey color lip liners and lip glosses and purpley kind of lipsticks, the dark pink mauve kind of lipsticks, they're for the cool tone people. These lipsticks will not look great on me. They'll look okay, but not very... So it's good, it's good practice to sort of have a look in your collection and see what you've got. Now these are blushes that are all kind of pinky. Now none of these will really look that great on me because they're pinky blue toned. These kind of colors will look very good on me because they are more warm toned. And 
hair's essence. And the lighter shades too, you can get away with wearing a lot of the lighter shades. And also being an older person, you're probably going to want to go with the lighter shades anyway. As far as lipsticks go, of course you can go with the warm tone burnt siennas, the pretty um, natural nudes. You can wear apricots, salmons. And it won't look weird on you. You can also wear lighter shades. So you really don't have that many limitations or restrictions with the types of things that you do. It's just you've got to learn whether or not you're warm or cool and what you can wear with those particular color patterns. Now this is the Color Me Beautiful catalog that they sent with my order. Um, the customer service there is really less than acceptable and I actually canceled the very first order I did with them. Um, they've divided their makeup by um, neutral, warm, or cool. And they have quite a variety here but nothing stands out as outstanding and I just find the pricing is a little uh, high. And they had a special here where you could get a, quite a little assortment of makeup plus the color uh, palette sample here and it was like 60 bucks and I ordered that and then they called me and said they didn't have it in stock but if I wanted to buy the makeup individually they could do that and send me the color swatch thing separately also and it was going to come to I don't know like 90 or 100 dollars and I said no so I just got a few things from their catalog um, but you can see that there's nothing particularly special they also carry other brands of skin care and makeup Adrian Arpel and um, uh, there's a few other brands here with skin care and stuff but I would say that you really don't need to buy their makeup but I would suggest you get the color palette and I think it comes with a lipstick for like 40 bucks but it's definitely worth it to have this because this is your most valuable tool you can use this with any brand of makeup um, you know, your clothes, you know, checking out whether your clothes are the right shade or whatever. That's, this is, this is the, the key right here. This is all what Color Me Beautiful is all about, is these colors. And as soon as you know whether you're warm or cool toned and what your season is, this is what will help you. Now there are other books. Um, they have revised the Color Me Beautiful system to include um, additional seasonal divisions I guess you could say. They have lighter skin springs, they have warmer skin springs, they have deeper tone, um, different types of uh, autumns and different types of summers. So there is, there are some variants now. They even go into details about hair color differences. So this is a fairly new one. I think this came out in 2012. Uh, this one came out in 1995 and it's got a, a huge assortment of information about um, dressing professionally, um, how to balance out your body with fashion, and although some of the fashion items are a little hokey, the concepts are very, very good. Plus they have um, pictures of different types of makeup and the colors that go best with your particular season. So I think that it's a great little book. You can find these kinds of books on Amazon for real cheap. I think I only paid a few dollars for mine. And I think on Kindle you can find them too. You can also get her original Color Me Beautiful book by Carol Jackson. Um, this is a very helpful book called The Color Me Beautiful. And this is with a U, so you know it's a UK division. This particular Color Me Beautiful is all over the world. I mean, they have them in um, Romania, they have them in the UK, they have them in, uh, in Asia. It's everywhere. So it's not just a U.S. 
crazy thing that we do. And this one is quite helpful actually. I really liked it. They go over warm and cool tones and nice palettes. Um, the proper things to have for your lipstick basics and eyeliner basics for each type um, of, of coloring that you are. And they also have pictures of sample people and you know prominent colors that are, are featured in their particular uh, color palettes. So I, re I really like these books. I love um, learning more about this, especially the new divisions that they have, because not everybody can be divided into four groups. There are qu some subtleties within each group, and this addresses those particular issues. And it is based on a very sound system. So I really like Color Me Beautiful, and um, I'm going back on the wagon. I fell off the wagon for a while there. Uh, I forgot all about this and I've been doing so much, I've been buying so much makeup and I've been buying the wrong colors and you know you can you can put a lot of makeup on and put it on nicely but something's not quite right, it's not quite gelling, you know, it's, it's not full harmony and I think that that's what I'm going to try to uh, to do and I encourage you to figure out what your season is and I think it will help you immensely when you're clothes shopping or makeup shopping, imagine knowing the lipsticks that are going to look best on you without just grabbing them off, you know, offline. I know that mostly these colors, these corals, warm pinks, and you know, light bright reds, oranges and browns, and ecrus are going to look, these are going to look great. So it's good to know that, but it's also good to know that hot pinks and purpley pinks and blue pinks are not going to look so great. So that being said, I hope everybody has a beautiful day. <laughs> Take care everybody. Toodles.